Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. In this edition, I'll be talking about AO Lithium Lithium batteries. This is going to be the first of several parts uh, discussing this battery. This first uh, installation, I'll be doing an unboxing. I'll be showing you the internals. I'll put up the actual battery and show you some of the internals. And then I'll be charging my battery with a Victron charger. Finally, I'll uh, be connecting them via parallel connection. So this is my first installation on the AO Lithium line of lithium batteries. They're manufactured in China, but they have a distribution center in uh, California. So if you need these batteries, uh, it won't take several months. It only takes several days for you to get them. Usually three days, maybe four days, okay? So I'll start off with the unboxing. Hope you like this video. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them below. I would greatly appreciate it. First off, I want to clarify, this is not an ASMR video. We're going to be opening up uh, the box. I got two boxes, not just one battery. I got two batteries, courtesy of the wonderful folks at uh, AO Lithium Batteries. So these are two 100 amp hour, 12 volt lithium batteries. Essentially the top of the line. A lot of folks are going to 200 and 300 amp hour batteries. Hopefully, eventually, uh, AO Lithium will be uh, making those batteries available to the market. So let me put this uh, one battery away and only open the uh, first one up. I'm in my studio in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. Again, the uh, packaging was incredible. Uh, there was not even a hint of damage on the boxes. And it usually takes two to three days, typically, uh, for a battery to be delivered to your home anywhere in the continental US of A, okay? They make these batteries again. I noted it earlier in China, but they have a, a warehouse, a distribution center in Southern California so they can uh, ship it rather readily. There's no bottlenecks uh, regarding shipping or other issues. And you won't be uh, waiting for your battery for months upon months upon months. You'll get immediate satisfaction, which is always a good thing. There's a strap. It's a simple little nylon strap, and it works perfectly. These batteries, again, are rather lightweight. Here's a shot of the product user manual. It's actually quite useful. It's essentially a long sheet uh, has two sides to it. Let me show it to you. I scanned it uh, at my home studio for your visual pleasure. It's in 4K. You can pause this video. You can pause this video at any time to check out the maintain and store information, the warranty, the return and refund policy, the battery specifications, information about the Bluetooth app, etc, etc. It's all here and you can pause the video. On top here, they have a little finger hole, so you can uh, take out the first uh, sheet of uh, sponge G material. I don't know what it's made of, but it's a spongy material, and it's rather uh, stiff and strong, and definitely will protect your battery. Let me show you the top of the battery. Again, these have side terminals. I am not a big fan, honestly of uh, side terminals. I'd rather have them on the top. Side terminals tend to add to the width of a battery, especially when you're uh, making an installation. But then again, I'm not an expert on battery installation. And there's a bottom. Uh, again, excellent packaging. If you order from uh, the Los Angeles area a warehouse, I'm pretty sure you'll get it uh, within two to three days. I'll have uh, links in the description in case you have any questions about this battery and of course if you want to order one. I'm putting on the little strap again. Uh, if I could do it, you can do it too. It's uh, rather <laughs> simple and I'm not exactly the brightest bulb in the candelabra so I can do this. Uh, you can do it absolutely 100%. 
I taped the uh, great majority of this uh, screwdriver. The most of it's plastic, but the tip uh, is metal there, and I have tape. So in case I drop it, I'm, I am getting a little bit older, and I tend to fumble things once in a while. I just don't want to uh, damage this battery in any way or form. It looks like the case is made out of ABS plastic. These uh, screws come out, again, rather readily. And uh, there are four of them on this battery. Let me show you a tight shot of this, the screws there. There we are, we finally got some focus. Again, I have to reiterate, this is not an ASMR video. I'm not trying to <laughs> calm you down or put you to sleep or anything. I'm trying to be informative and uh, show a lot of detail. That's my um, MO, my modus operandi. That's how I operate. I like to have a lot of information. So essentially, you're just getting, uh, this is a little bit of a storefront for you. You can say, hey, these look like pretty nice batteries. Maybe I should order one, two, three, or four of them. And of course, uh, there are links below. Let me open up this battery so I'll show you what's inside. I have to flip it around. Let me flip it around. There we are. Let's take a quick peek inside. There are your connections for your positive and negative terminals right there up on top. Uh, to the left is a Bluetooth uh, uh, contrivance. And in the back, uh, there's a little small, uh, that's the Bluetooth device. And to the right, you can see the sensors for heat and cold. Apparently, according to the folks at AO Lithium. Let's charge up the battery next. The folks at AO Lithium uh, recommended that I uh, charge them individually, not in uh, parallel. Of course, when you're in the RV and you have them connected in parallel, they're being charged in parallel. But uh, for this uh, initial charge, uh, I uh, decided to do them individually. I have a Bluetooth uh, battery and I also have a Bluetooth charger. And this is from Victron, a very nice 15 amp charger from Victron. I really uh, think it's fantastic. Got a little bit hot, but it uh, worked absolutely flawlessly. It took about two, three hours to charge these batteries up. Here's the app for the uh, Victron uh, charger. Shows it's uh, in the bulk charge cycle voltage and current has status graph and history I had to go inside the app and change the uh, charging profile to lithium-ion they have a little picture here and it shows you where you're at in the cycle right there it showed it was in bulk cycle here's the history uh, page now we're at the uh, AO lithium app I have two batteries and to turn one of them on so I can read what uh, information was available to read on the app has a lot of useful information. Search, real-time parameters, history, etc. State of charge was 50%, and then it went quickly up to uh, 98%, and eventually to 100. Uh, you scroll down on this app, and you can have all kinds of useful information like temperature, power. I'm trying to figure out how to change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Maybe the kind folks at AO Lithium will tell me, hey, Jesus, this is how you do that. By the way, I am not an electrician. I'm not an electrical engineer or a battery nerd. I am just a regular guy uh, just hooking up these uh, two batteries in parallel. I hope I'm doing a good job. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to leave them below. I'll uh, take them to heart. I don't plan to install these uh, batteries in my RV for several weeks. So if you can... Uh, Give me some friendly advice. I would greatly appreciate it. These uh, wires are one gauge and they're about 18 inches. One of the main uh, gripes I have about these batteries is that they have these side mounts. And uh, these side mounts um, uh, essentially add to the width of the battery and its placement. Uh, if I'm going to put them in my pass-through storage, this is not going to be an issue. But if I put them in a battery box, this may be an issue. And what do you think of the fact that I'm using one gauge wire? Do you recommend something thinner or something thicker? You tell me. Here are the dimensions for the battery. It's a uh, 7.4 inches tall, 12 inches uh, long, and about uh, 6.85 inches wide. So 
So with those battery cables, it sure adds a lot of uh, width to this battery. Typically, a lot of uh, battery cases have more room on top than uh, wide. But what do you think? Here's a close-up of the connections. One of the critiques I have of this uh, battery also, the second one, is the fact that the, uh, you know, the bolts are rather short. So you're going to have to get some larger bolts by maybe an eighth of an inch or maybe a quarter of an inch. You do not want to puncture the inside of the battery case. Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget I'll be leaving some links in the description to the Aeolithium website, also to the support services, and also to other videos on the Aeolithium batteries from other YouTubers. And of course I'll also leave a link to my Amazon affiliate page where you can purchase these batteries and I'll make a bit of a commission and it won't cost you anything extra at all. Thank you very much ahead of time. I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.